Hello, I'm Donya Quick, and this video is going to be a short tutorial on using Euterpia for the first time. First, I want to point out some useful resources for Euterpia, the most important of which is the Euterpia website, euterpia.com. On that website, from the main page, you can find detailed download and installation instructions by navigating to the Euterpia menu and clicking on Download and Installation. There is also a detailed troubleshooting page that you can get to, again from the Euterpia menu, and clicking on Troubleshooting. If your installation doesn't go smoothly, and the steps shown in this video don't work for you, please check out the troubleshooting page. Before using Euterpia, you first need to have installed Haskell. The easiest way to do this is with Haskell Platform. Go to the URL shown here and download the version appropriate for your operating system. You can use either the core or full version. It's up to you. Once Haskell has been installed successfully, you can install Euterpia by opening a command prompt or PowerShell on Windows, or opening a terminal on Mac or Linux, and running the command cabal update, followed by cabal install Euterpia. Be patient after running each command. What follows after running the installation step in particular can take a while. You may see a lot of output, but if the installation is successful, you will eventually see a message at the end indicating so. If your installation ends with an error message, please go to the troubleshooting page mentioned on the previous slide. Finally, you need a MIDI synthesizer. If you're a Windows user, your computer already has one. If you're a Mac or Linux user, you need to install one if you don't already have one for other music purposes. For Mac users, I recommend SimpleSynth, since it's the easiest to set up and run. For Linux users, I recommend FluidSynth, which is also cross-platform and works on Mac and Windows. For Mac and Linux users, once you have installed a synthesizer, you need to make sure that it is open and running before you do anything with Euterpia. If you don't, and you open Euterpia first, and then the synthesizer, you may find that Euterpia can't see it. A synthesizer is a kind of MIDI output device. If Euterpia can't find any MIDI output devices on your computer, you will get no sound and an error message when you attempt to play a music value. Now, we'll look at what's required to start up the Haskell interpreter, GHCI. Then, we'll import Euterpia and check that its MIDI output is working by using the play function to play a note. Finally, we'll look at what to do if you have multiple output devices and the default output device on your operating system isn't the one that you want to send MIDI messages to. Okay, I've opened up a Windows PowerShell. As mentioned previously, you can also open a command prompt on Windows or a terminal on Mac or Linux. Now, I'll start GHCI by typing the command GHCI. Now we're in the Haskell interpreter. I can import Euterpia by typing import Euterpia. If your Euterpia installation was successful, this is what you should see. If you get an error message saying that Euterpia can't be found, please see the troubleshooting page. Now, we'll see what MIDI devices are available on our system. To do this, you type devices. This will give a list of all available MIDI input and output devices. Now, I have a lot of them on my system, so quite a few things show up. Most people will see no input devices and at most one output device. If you're on Windows, you might see two of them, the Microsoft MIDI Mapper and the Microsoft GS Wavetable Synth. If you are a Mac or Linux user, under the output devices, you should see the synthesizer that you installed. If you see no output devices listed, that means that Euterpia cannot find your synthesizer. You must have at least one available output device before you can use the play function. 
Now let's play a note. The command I've typed here is play dollar sign lowercase c space four space qn. This will play a single c4 quarter note. Syntactically, this is the same as if I used parentheses this way. Now, if you heard a note, that means that everything is working. If you heard no sound, you need to first check that your volume isn't muted, and then perhaps look at your synthesizer settings. On the other hand, if you did hear a note, you're now ready to move on to look at other Euterpia examples and tutorials. To exit GHCI, you can type colon Q. This will put you back into whatever directory you originally started in before you opened GHCI. Typically, Euterpia's play function sends output to the device that is numbered zero. If that isn't the device that you want to play to, you may need to select a different device. You can use the play dev function to accomplish this. Pay attention to the device number in front of each device name when you use the devices function. This is the number that you need to supply to the play dev function to tell it which device to play to. The format is play dev, followed by the device number, followed by the music value that you want to play, such as C4 quarter note. Now that you have the play function working, you're ready to start trying some other Euterpia examples. You can find these on the Euterpia website. The examples page also contains information on how to load Haskell source files into the interpreter.